Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is my guide to the Guitar Amp Simulator in Cakewalk by BandLab. And for those of you who are interested in what the Guitar Amp Simulator sounds like, check out the second half of this video. To expand the audio track header, click on the double down arrow on the right side of the track header. Click on the input echo icon. Click on the plus icon to the right of the FX tab. Click on Insert Audio Effects on the pop-up menu. Click on Guitar on the pop-up menu. Then click on TH3 on the pop-up menu. In the TH3 pop-up window, click on the Tuner button to turn on the Guitar Tuner. Now play a guitar string to see the current tuning appear in the display panel to the right of the Tuner button. An arrow to the left of the letter in the display panel means the tuning is flat and the guitar needs tuning up. An arrow to the right means the tuning is sharp and the guitar needs tuning down. Click on the tuner button again to turn off the guitar tuner. Click on the master tab. Click on high or low in the master window to adjust the input gain of the guitar. Click on the X icon at the top right of the master window to close the master window. On the left side of the TH3 pop-up window are some preset amp setups. Click on one of the banks in the bank section to select a group of presets. Then double click on a preset in the presets section to load an amp setup. The small graphic display at the bottom of the TH3 window shows the amp, cab and effects of the preset. Click on the amp to center the amp image in the main display area. Click on the percentage buttons at the top of the main display area to zoom in or out of the amp image. You can press the left mouse button on any of the amp knobs and move the mouse up or down the screen to adjust the knob settings. You can select a different amp by clicking on the arrows at the top left of the amp image. Click on the cabinet image in the small graphic display at the bottom of the TH3 window to show the cabinet in the main display area. Double click on the cabinet image to show the cabinet settings window. Here you can choose the cabinet microphones and set the recording levels for the mics.
Click on the X icon at the top right of the cabinet settings window to close it. Click the left mouse button on the microphone images and drag them to adjust their position. You can select a different cabinet by clicking on the arrows at the top left of the cabinet image. Click on an effect in the small graphic display at the bottom of the TH3 window to show the effect in the main display area. You can press the left mouse button on any of the effects knobs and move the mouse up or down the screen to adjust the knob settings. If some of the effects knobs are not visible, press the left mouse button on a blank area of the main display area and drag the screen. To remove an effect from the setup, press the left mouse button on the effect and drag the mouse down the screen. A bin icon will now appear. Then drag the mouse to the bin until the bin turns orange and release the mouse button. To create your own AMP setup, double click on an empty slot in the presets section. Click on yes on the pop-up message if a message appears. On the right side of the TH3 window, click on the drop-down list to the right of the components button. Then click on AMP on the drop down list. Now scroll through the list of AMPs and drag an AMP to the small graphic display area at the bottom of the TH3 window to add it. Now click on the drop down list to the right of the component button and click on Cabinet. Now scroll through the cabinets and drag a cabinet to the small graphic window. Now, click on the drop-down list again. And click on an effect type. Here, I will click on Reverb. Then drag the effect to the small graphics display area. To change the position in the chain of the amp, cab or effect, press the left mouse button on the amp, cab or effect in the main display area and drag it to a new position in the main display area. To save your new amp setup as a preset, Click on an empty preset in the preset section. Then click on save at the bottom of the preset section. Type in a name for your new preset on the pop-up window. Then click on OK. Finally, click on the X icon at the top right of the TH3 window to close it. You can reopen the TH3 window at any time by clicking on the TH3 effect in the Effects section of the Audio Track header. And here is what the Guitar Amp Simulator in Cakewalk by BandLab sounds like.
If you enjoyed this video, do give us the thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.